This past week, Omar Vizquel has been accused of sexual harassment by a bat boy in the Chicago White Sox system when Omar Vizquel was the manager of the Birmingham Barons. I'm going to go through everything that was that was uh, reported in the athletic story, the Jeff Passan story, and then we could talk about what this all means or whatever for Omar Vizquel. So here's what happened. So he was sued by the Bat Boy for the Birmingham ba- uh, Birmingham Barons, a White Sox AA affiliate, uh, for sexual ha- harassment. The accuser has autism and alleges that he was targeted for sexual harassment because of his disability. It also names the White Sox and the Barons as defendants. Essentially, he's he's saying that they fired him because of his accusations and because of his disability. And so this is what he says about Omar Vizquel, that in 2019, when he was the manager of the Barons, he repeatedly, this is a quote, repeatedly exposed his erect penis penis to the bat boy and forced him to wash his back in the shower. Uh, Vizquel told him that he was sexually interested in men, that bat boy made it clear that he didn't feel the same way. And on five occasions, Vizquel tried to have normal conversations with him while partially undressed. Vizquel exposed a partial or full erection to him, showing that his purpose in exposing himself was to obtain sexual gratification. On August 22nd, 2019, the bat boy said that after a game, Vizquel went into a shower and returned with an erection, ordering the bat boy to wash his back. Uh, The complaint says that the bat boy said he was humiliated, intimidated, and frightened of what would happen if he disobeyed. He also says that the coaches laughed at the sexual harassment and Vizquel says that he hasn't responded to any of these allegations. He hasn't said anything regarding this. Now, when he was the first base coach for the Detroit Tigers back in 2015, their bat boy tweeted tweeted this, Omar Vizquel told me first, first day bat boys have to clean the coaches' backs in the showers. This is back in 2015. But the bat boy later claims to the athletic that he found it, that it was just an odd joke and that he never did wash his back. I went in to see if I could find the tweet and I did find a link to it. But when you click it, the tweet has been deleted. So I can't mm-hmm. show you guys the tweet. Vescal was the first base coach for the Tigers from 2013 to 2017. Something else about Omar Vescal. In early 2020, his wife filed for divorce and alleged that he had harassed her and abused her, domestic abuse, all this stuff. He choked her. He pushed her down. He did a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, at one point he was arrested. I think in 2016 he was arrested, but she ended up dropping the charges. Um, at another point when she was when she was being choked by him, her sister witnessed it. She wrote an affidavit saying that she didn't want to press criminal charges. Vizquel essentially said in a statement that he never hurt her, that they were they had a volatile relationship because he was cheating on her and she didn't like it and all this stuff. And now Vizquel, who's been on the Hall of Fame ballot for quite a while now, his Hall of Fame vote has dropped, which is an indication that he's probably not going to ever make it to the Hall of Fame. What do you have to say, man? What's your initial reaction? Oh my God. When I read this, I was disgusted because the bad boy is autistic. I mean, it's, it's, it's disgusting whether he was autistic or not, but clearly like this guy was trying to, if all this is true, he's trying to take advantage and probably using his authority to, to intimidate the, the, the bad boy. And I think it's clear, man, if, if, if all this is true, then he has no place in the hall of fame. Unfortunately, I, I did think he was worthy of hall of fame status prior to all this. I don't know how to feel other than th- this stuff happens. It's always happening. People are, are intimidated intimidated by by figures like that and i just hope that he gets justice i take abuse very seriously and and i think that there's something obviously wrong with omar Vizquel, and i want the process to play out legally in the courts all the evidence to come out before I, I say that he's absolutely guilty. But as of right now, when you when you see everything that has happened to this point, I don't think how you I don't I don't know how you could see it in, in any other way. I think that there's yeah. something deeply wrong with this man. And uh, and not just that, man, this guy, this guy was in the league 18 long, years, man. 20 years. Yeah. Who knows, man, as a probably had he probably had more more weight to his name when he was at the height of his career as as an athlete, as like a guy on TV. So who knows, man, like I wouldn't be surprised if more allegations come out from more people just just based off this one that's going on right now yeah and hopefully that's not hopefully that's what happens because it, because hopefully this didn't happen all the time like i think his his previous wife says that she was never abused or any of that stuff that he was fine with her so i i don't know man there's always two sides to the story in terms of what happened with the bat boy i think you have two very similar sounding stories that happen here yeah i don't even know what to say man <laughs> obviously we'll, we'll do an update on this and see what plays out but but as of right now, if I had a Hall of Fame vote, I wouldn't vote for Omar Vizquel. Whatever, man. Go away, bruh.